Hey friends, you're here. We're here. Let's spend some time together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. It's so important to get to spend time together, to be a community, to be the church. And together we can find out what's in the box that Gracie brought. Would you like to see what's in the box Gracie brought? I don't want to find out. First we have to sing the song, What's in the Box Today? Here we go. What's in the box today? What's in the box today? Tell us, tell us, tell us, please. What's in the box today? And it is... Not a puppy, but it is... That. That's a building that looks a lot like a building that we sometimes call the church. Hmm that might have something to do with our story today and asking the question, is the church a building? Well, for our story, we need the Bible, the book of God's love. Let's sing our song together. This is the Bible, the book of God's love. This is the Bible, the book of God's love. This is the Bible, the book of God's love. Written by people, inspired from above. Oh, this is the Bible, the book of God's love. And I need my readers. And this story comes from the book of Acts, which is in the New Testament. And this story takes place after Jesus went to heaven. And this is a very important story. So I need your help. We're going to pat in rhythm to a steady beat, and then I'm going to read four lines of the story, and then we're going to have something that we all say together. It goes like this. Together, together, we'll be the church together. Let's try that. Here we go. Together, together, we'll be the church together. Good. Let's keep that steady beat going. I'll read part, and then we'll all come in together with the spoken part together. Listen to me, watch grace, and here we go. The followers of Jesus took care of one another. They treated those around them like a sister or a brother. Together, together, we'll be the church together. Good job, let's keep going. They sold all their possessions. They had no need for stuff. They shared with those in need and found they always had enough. Together, together, we'll be the church together. Good job. They spent good time together. Their hearts were full of love. They ate and prayed and offered praises to the Lord above. Together, together, we'll be the church together. Are you still patting? Are you still saying it with us? I sure hope so. We can't do it without you. Here we go. When others saw their kindness, they knew just what to do. They joined with the believers, and their numbers grew and grew. Together, together, we'll be the church together. Good job. One more verse. You can do it. Let's follow their example, not just by what we say, but how we reach out to the people we see every day. Together, together, we'll be the church together. Good job. You know, those early believers, they didn't meet in big buildings with stained glass or a pipe organ or screens or guitars. They were the church because a church is people, not a building. They each did what they could to love and support each other and all the other people in the communities where they lived. And we can do that too. Even though we can't all be together in the same building physically in one place, we can still do our part to be the church. And that reminds me of a song. The building's not the church. The building's not the church. The church is a community. The building's not the church. Let's try that. And we'll, we'll sing the building's not the church. But then when we get to 
The church is a community. We'll nod our heads like that. Okay, here we go. The building's not the church. The building's not the church. The church is a community. The building's not the church. You know what else is not the church? The pews. Those are the wooden benches where people sit. But that's not the church either. The pews are not the church. The pews are not the church. The church is a community. The pews are not the church. You know what else is not the church? The robes. Sometimes people in church buildings wear robes, but the robes are not the church. The robes are not the church. The church is a community. The robes are not the church. You know what the church is? You know what the church is. The church is people. The people are the church. The people are the church. The people are the church. The church is a community. The people are the church. Good job. Now for our prayer experience, let's do something with our hands that you may have been taught when you were real little about this is the church and this is the steeple, but we've already explored that that's not really the church. That's a building. So here's our prayer experience. And if you want to use your hands and I will lead us. Here we go. Here is a building. Here's a taller building. Open the doors. And there's the church. Because the church is people. Close the doors. And there's the church. Because the church is people. Spread the people far apart. Six feet apart or more. And there's the church because the church is people. A church is never closed. A church is always open. Wherever there are people who follow God, who love one another, and who do their very best to be their best selves for themselves and for the world, there's always the church. Amen. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Friends, thank you for being the church with us together. Bye-bye.